wonderful beef. <laughs> Meat prices are on the rise again as the beef shortage continues. Still no explanation for the dwindling of the world's meat supplies. Oh, I'm sorry, Mick. The store was out of dog food. You'll have to make do with salad till this beef shortage is over. Behold the dog. We know him as man's best friend. But what do we really know? All dogs belong to a secret organization dedicated to keeping mankind safe from really bad stuff. These are their amazing true stories. These are the secret files of the Spy Dogs. Don't move because we'll be right back to Spy Dogs on Fox Kids. Jeez. Ritz Bit Sandwiches with Skits. Oh, this looks promising. Lucky for me, this guy is a master of the coals, keeper of the eternal flame, a Degas of the Grill. No begging, Ralph. Well, okay. Here you go. Mm. Ugh, turnips! Yuck! Sorry, little guy. There's no more meat anywhere. But these turnips aren't half bad when they're grilled, eh, boy? Ah, uh, what would I do without you, Mr. Table? Hey, I remember sticking that puppy chow there three years ago. Dog Zero. Good thing I have caller ID. We don't know how or why, but the world's cattle are disappearing. Somebody's after our rump roast, Ralph, and they've got us by the giblets. I've instructed an expert from the United Kingdom to rendezvous with you ASAP. With meat this rare, Ralph, it's imperative that your job be well done. Good luck. This is Dog Zero signing off. Appreciate the true beauty of meat. Most people don't know their rumps from a whole pound of ground. More beef bullion, barren bone. Thank you, Chuck. Uh, 100% kosher. Well, those things are bad for you. Like I care. Ah, uh, Miss Tenderloin, I see we're in our usual state of fabulous boredom. Uh. Tonight, you shall see something truly thrilling. The completion of Operation Prime Cut. Whoopee. Tonight, I, Baron Bone, shall have what is rightfully mine. All the beef in the world. Oh, boy. Living the dream. Now, are you sure this is the Lemming Crossing? I don't see any lemmings. Where are they? Lars, do not have a call. Oh. Ah, yes. Agent Ralph, I presume. So William's the name. Beloved bit of the most notable royal family in the world. But I'm not allowed to say who. Heard of cows? Well, of course I've heard of cows. I'm an expert on food, especially beef and beef byproducts. No! Cow herd! What the devil do I care what the cow herd? Oh, what well, I, I say that reminds me. I'm quite famished, actually. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I say, that's not cricket. Come on. That's our first clue. Assuming you do want to find the world's cattle supply. Oh, uh, yes, quite. More than you can possibly know. We just follow the herd. Only watch a step. On second thought, why walk when you can ride? Oh, I say a stowaway. Some of yours, scribble. 
No scruple. I don't have any ketchup. No, for heaven's sake, you little beast, at least go for a better cup than rum. For 35 years, I worked in this stockyard. I learned the ways of the cow, their strengths and weaknesses. I learned about the cud and its potential. It's taken me a lifetime to obtain just the right amount of cud to create a spectacular supernova of partially masticated, regurgitated roughage. Any less, and it wouldn't have this critical mass. Any more, and it would digest itself. I found these up with the cattle, Baron. <laughs> Maybe they was attracted by the crud. That's cud, you pea brain! Uh, no, dogs aren't that smart. Put them down. <coughs> Let me show you. Dogs like meat. And in that regard, they are almost noble animals. But they do not know fine meats from scraps. <coughs> <coughs> We have to stop this guy. Oh, I should say so. Now look here. If I can distract him, can you dispose of that giant cud ball? See what I mean? He's going for the Kobe beef. Could this creature know a fine steak when he sees one? A puppy! Oh, look at him. Aren't you just the most adorable thing I've ever seen? Come here. Oh, I want to kiss my little ears. Oh, God. Just your little old little friends. Oh, no. Which will it be? This corn-fed Oklahoma porterhouse or this Texas longhorn filly? Oh, please. Elementary, my dear. Oh, the torches I bear for queen and country. Perhaps, finally, I have found a kindred spirit. Mitzi, it's Ralph. I've solved the problem of the missing beef, but I'm gonna need your help. Are you sure this will work, Ralph? Trust me, Mitz. Anything will stick to the bottom of a table. I've used that one since I was a pup. Chuck, this gravy train has made its last run. <laughs> what the 
what are you doing? No, please, wait! Got rid of the cud, Ralph. Oh, well, what'd you do with it? Turn on the news and you'll see. Good news. Beef prices are back to normal today as the cattle shortage appears to be over. Also, prices fell today on canned goods as a local manufacturer reported a sudden overnight surplus of cream spinach. Ha! I knew that's what cream spinach really was. <laughs> No, it's... Uh... Hey, don't move. Spy Dogs will be right back on Fox Kids. 077171. The Magic School. Wahoo! I love to see the gas. That's right. Come on back to Fox Kids for more Spy Dogs. What? No one ever told you why time drags on like this? Come on, this is something you should learn. breath. Nothing else like it. This all happened before you were born, Scribble. Two years ago, in the frozen north, Ice Station Husky. Oh, this isn't good. This is Agent Chuchi. This is an emergency. You have reached Dog Zero. If there is an impending alien invasion, press 1. For advice concerning ringworm, oh. press 2. If the world is about to be destroyed, press 3. We got you a new kind of kibble, Ralphie. And I hope you like it, because we got you the big bag. Kibble, be still my heart. What's this? A message from Dog Zero. Mommy, why is Ralphie doing that? Well, I don't know, dear. I'm afraid dogs just aren't very bright. From Dog Zero, escape house, get Mitzi and meet Angus. Critical. So first, I needed to get out of the house. Fortunately, I had an emergency K9 PU device. We 
are not getting your mist up again. Sure. Now I was trapped in the yard. But all it took was a little ingenuity and a fresh rawhide strip. Another victim of my peerless rawhide locksmithing skills. So I met up with Mitzi and we hightailed it to see Angus. As you can see, Dog Chow, it looks like an ordinary litter box. But here comes Mr. Kitty. Oh, Mr. Kitty, how are you today? Out for a wee stroll, are we? Oh, look out! You're sinking! How do you like that? How do you like your kitty litter now, you wee nefarious feline? How do you like it now? You have a very twisted soul, my brother. He is one sick puppy. <laughs> You can sink a mastodon in there! Don't you think it's just grand? <laughs> Let's begin. Three days ago, we spotted a huge storm of asteroids headed for Earth. How many? Well, I didn't stop to count them. But any one of them could easily destroy Earth. But luckily, Angus had a plan. A crazy plan, but a plan nonetheless. I got myself a plan. A crazy plan, but a plan nonetheless. Crazy, huh? Who'd have thought? I think Earth can dodge these asteroids like so many rolled up newspapers. Move the planet? <laughs> it's kind of, you know, big. Anyone who believes the small cannot affect the large Ow! has never fully considered the mosquito. So we followed Angus's plan, and we saved the world. <laughs> oh, you think you figured it all out? <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> yes, Scribble, the canine P.U. smells like poopy. I give up. It's hopeless. Come on, come on. Pick up Angus. What is that? Asteroid! Asteroid dead ahead! Hold over! Run over! Biter. Now you'll get to see how we save the Earth from those asteroids firsthand. Come on. Watch where you're going. Unhook. Here, you dig right here. And throw dirt in this direction. 38, 39, 40, 41. This is it. figured out that by digging in the right places at exactly the right time, we can move the Earth enough to dodge the asteroids. Oh, no, Scribble. There were millions of dogs digging all over the world. But there's a side effect. When you change Earth's orbit, you change the length of the day. So sometimes it feels like time is going quick, and other times it feels like time is moving slow. <laughs> Scribble, it's very hard to tell sometimes what people know and what they don't. You're not a talker like that. 
More Pooh-Juice Mighty. Hold on tight. There's a lot more coming your way on Fox Kids. We gotta search every doghouse! Fox Kids. All right, Spy Dog Cadets, pay attention. I know each of you has a lot to do and so little time to do it. But you must always remember the prime directive. Humans must never know the truth of what we do. It's for their own good. So stay secret out there, keep on your toes, and off the couch. Coming soon to Fox Kids, Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> Journey beyond time, beyond space. Hey, when you've got a need for Lost Galaxy action, then check out the Power Rangers Lost Galaxy game on the Fox Kids website. Log on to action at foxkids.com. Your password? Galactic. Today, it's the...